गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू आवर क्लास अगेन टूडे इन आवर क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट टॉपिक दैट इज आर्थ एज ए प्लानट ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फ्यू इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट ऑफ द अर्थ वेन द अर्थ इज ऑरिजिनेटेड लाइक अबाउट थ्री थाउजेंड ईयर ए गो द पीपल हैव दैट अ कॉन्सेप्ट अबाउट द अर्थ सेप ओके द Uh, primitive peoples uh, or the 3000 years back peoples think that the earth is flat in shape okay cause you know the sky uh, they see that the, the, the sky uh, from the above that is just touch the um, uh, surface like this so uh, they believe like the earth is kind of a doom okay so they also thought the sun moon and the other stuff they move along with the um, interference of this uh, doom because they think that when they uh, see above the sky they thought that all that um, sun moon and the other star they are rotating around them okay the flat earth the flat earth concept was actually Uh, after that after so many year it is uh, totally opposed and uh, then there is a new concept uh, developed after uh, after a few experiment like uh, like um, when they uh, travel in a, in a ship um, but they uh, doesn't encounter or any um, abrupt edge then they understood that the earth is not a flat in shape or also uh, one most important portuguese uh, sailor that is ferdinand magellan and his crew um, they started a journey uh, in the year 1519 and uh, they returned same place at the year uh, 1522 after 3 years then they understood the earth is a circular in a shape okay and uh, after that in the 2000 year uh, when we live on the earth having the shape uh, of a sphere or the spheroid okay now after that this is the introduction part or the initial part of about the earth concept now here the main the, the shape of the earth um, uh, the concept of the shape of the earth uh, right now the uh, that evolved okay the shape of the earth is always there is a, a questions uh, about this uh, shape uh, uh, in uh, the, um, the scientist okay among the scientists they uh, they think about the earth shape in the previous and then past time and the present time okay and uh, today we know that the earth shape is like a sphere okay not a proper circular uh, not a flat shape uh, but it's the sphere in shape and um, the here the general acceptance of the fact that the earth is round and um, uh, it is first developed in the first century ad uh, by the pythagoras pythagoras was one of the most uh, important greek philosopher and mathematicians um, who discovered that the earth is um, spherical in shape in the year 600 year earlier okay and after that around 350 bc the great aristotle also declared that the earth is round uh, or the sphere like object okay next one <clears throat> after that the uh, when uh, they think that the, the gradual disappearance uh, of the ship over the horizon in the last uh, being the topmost part of the ship uh, you know when you um, uh, are standing uh, on the beach and when you see any ship or you are standing on the harbor you can see when the ship coming towards the harbor you can see the topmost part of the ship okay then you can see the um, uh, the uh, uh, full part after when this come uh, too close to you then you can see the whole part of the ship so it is also one of the most important uh, uh, experiment uh, for uh, knowing the shape of the earth okay and the earth is kind of 
curved insect and um, yeah we can understood this due on the during the um, uh, the the curved shadow on the moon during the eclipse we can understood that this is the the earth is uh, kind of uh, curvature in shape the variations of the elevations of the sun and the star with latitude and the diameter of the poles to poles is shorter and um, diameter at the equator mane pole to pole diameters is so shorter than the diameter of the equator there is a difference between the poles and the equator diameter that is 43 km okay and you know the the shape of the earth is kind of you know that the uh, the slightly flattened at the topmost part or the poles region mani north pole and south pole and uh, uh, kind of bulged in uh, in the middle portions or the equator portions okay these alterations in shape is only due to the earth rotations which is create one most important centrifugal force okay due to this the earth a shape is just like this the upper portions mane the uh, the, uh, the two uh, poles uh, flattened and the middle portions or the equator is kind of blurred and there are the few um, yeah, proofs about the earth shape like the uh, circumnavigations of the earth many uh, uh, this is the first experiment about the earth shape uh, which is uh, done by ferdinand maglin oh, you know about him already uh, he started his journey in 1915 19 and he then came the same place in 19 uh, 1522 so then they, we understood or they understood that the earth shape is a uh, circular in shape spherical in shape that's why they started the journey from where and they coming back to that place so this that is why we understood that the earth shape is um, uh, circular or the spherical otherwise it is not possible to come the same place okay next one is the um, the circular horizon okay the circular horizon that means if you stand in an open field or open area and if you look forward i already told you about this if you look forward you seen this like the sea that merged with the surface okay where well, if you uh, see uh, towards the um, uh, sky you can see that the sky after uh, um, few after few miles you can see that, that the sky is just merged with the earth surface so it's merged in a circular margin line okay this line actually known as horizon this horizon is kind of uh, widen and increase the altitude but always remain in circular okay another important uh, 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 experiment like the gradual visibility of sea we already uh, discuss about this also when we uh, watch any ship approaching towards the harbor or towards near you uh, from uh, then you can see the first one that is the topmost part before the hull and after when the um, that uh, ship uh, comes near to you then you can see the whole part of the um, uh, uh, ship so this is also a proof that that earth is a our shape is a, a spherical in shape if the earth is flattened then the uh, the shape will uh, visible um, um, or disappear all of a sudden okay next one is the sunrise and sunset you know that the sunrise in the east and set in the west at the different times uh, in different place but uh, cause you know that the earth is rotated from the uh, west to east um, and uh, that's why the places in the east on the spherical earth will have the sunrise earlier than the uh, west the places which is located in the western part of the country so this is happened only because of the one a half of the spherical earth um, uh, which is um, the towards the sun uh, swaying the toward the sun and uh, the opposite side obviously there is a um, uh, night time or sunrise time or sunset time so this is totally opposite as you can see the picture okay so if the um, earth is flat in shape then you can see the whole world have the same some uh, sunrise and sunset timing so this is one um, uh, most important uh, experiment also 
okay or proof also for the uh, same next to on the lunar eclipse okay you know the earth always um, cast a curve uh, shadow on the moon during the lunar eclipse which is a part of a circular so only sphere a sphere can cast a curve um, uh, in a loop now the next one is the positions of the north star in the previ uh, primitive time you know that the north star is actually our compass we can find any place or uh, we can find our path uh, if we lost anywhere we can find our path with the follow of the north star so you know but the different star appear or to change their shape with the positions when we uh, change our positions the star also change their positions I mean, as a observer we can see the the, the always the earth um, many uh, the star change their positions but an observer at the north pole always find the north star vertically overheaded okay um as uh, uh, that uh, uh, portions or the, that observer proceed toward the south at 45 degree latitude he also find the north star in midway between the zenith and the horizon okay if we move forward further south towards the equator he would also observe the north star at the horizon so the north star is uh, only appear to shift its positions following the arc of the circle so it is also most important uh, proof for the earth uh, shape okay next one is the planetary bodies or the spherical you know all planetary bodies the sun the moon planet and the satellite so the circular outline which is observed through the telescope and uh, it is also proved that that the if the other planet is circular in shape and form the uh, that means that earth is not a exception next one is the uh, most important this proof is that is the red port level experiment experiment okay uh, this experiment done, experiment done by Dr. Wallens in Bedford Canal that is located in North Lock that is also in, located in England in 19th century. He first of all um, for the earth curvature he first of all do a, take the uh, set of three identical poles uh, of the equal height then these three identical poles he um, fixed fixed a mile apart above the water level and he say that he observed uh, that that the uh, that the uh, the straight uh, when he observed carefully through a telescope it was noticed that the middle pole was about eight inches higher than the other two poles you can see the picture you can see the picture the middle pole is the higher than the uh, these other two poles so when he observe from the either end because of the curvature of the uh, um, earth he also find this type of variation so it is also the proof for um, of the uh, earth uh, curvature or earth uh, shape next one is the traveling around the earth by the aeroplane or the ship when we travel by any aeroplane or ship, uh, we never uh, experience any kind of uh, approved edge. Okay, that means when we started uh, any journey from where we can uh, back, we can come back to that place again. So this is proof that the earth is a circular in shape. Next one is the space photography. Space photography, even right now, there is a so many uh, instrument are there, rocket, satellite, artificial satellite are so that they always taking the pictures of the earth. From that picture, this is proof that, that the earth is a, uh, uh, earth is a uh, circular or the sphere in shape. Okay. Now, the next one, next topic is earth as an oblate sphere. Okay. The earth is spinning on its axis west to east at a speed of 1670 km per hour. This movement is called rotation. And the spherical body which is rotating constantly on its axis the high speed. So there is a 
huge centrifugal force uh, generate and due to this the earth shape is like this i already told you the uh, upper portions is kind of uh, flattened and the middle portions on equator regions that is mean upper portions means polar regions and uh, middle portions means the equator region that regions is kind of blurred okay so uh, the earth Mm, uh, uh, the earth has the molten interior it has the tectonic plates on thin crust that can move slowly and so it is not solid ball so uh, that that is why this uh, that is why slightly flattened at the poles and the earth shape is of late spheroid okay and uh, uh, recent studies also reveals that the earth is not a of late spheroid the earth shape term as a geot the pole to pole diameter of the earth is approximately 12714 km and the equatorial diameter approximately is 7 uh, 12757 km and between the difference between the poles and equator is 43 km and the earth as an oblate sphere was first observed by jean richards a french uh, astronomer uh, in 1671 the length of the uh, of an degree uh, arc parallel of the latitude and the length of the 1 degree arc of the meridians of the longitude uh, will be constant value everywhere on the earth mm, uh, uh, on the earth had a perfect sphere but the at the equator the length of 1 degree latitude is 110.58 km while uh, 1 degree longitude is 111.32 km so the length of a 1 degree latitudes and 1 degree longitude is not the same everywhere but change from equator towards the poles so the length of 1 degree of latitude at the poles is 111.7 km which is greater by 1.1 km from the length of 110.858 km or the 110 6 km at the equator so this is proof that the earth is not a perfect sphere but uh, an oblate sphereoid so you have to remember this one the length of 1 degree latitude the length of 1 degree uh, longitude and their difference then you can easily understood the shape of the earth so this is it for today in our next class we will uh, discuss about the um, uh, geodes concept of the geodes okay thank you